What's going on guys? This is going to be a Scorpio Taroscope for the Lunar Eclipse into Leo for uh, that happens the 31st of January 2018 and one Scorpio to another we are going to see uh, what exactly awaits us in there but before we go uh, <clears throat> again I want to tell uh, I want to tell you that yeah um, if you want a personal reading with me you can either text me or call me at instant go my account is tarot predictions or you can purchase a reading from my website www.tarotpredictions.net both things both links are uh, listed down there in the description of this video as this is set aside the first card showing up what this lunar cycle will be all about for us that will be yay the two of cups ladies and gentlemen so <clears throat> This card shows that we are about to share either emotions or we are about to share either mm, life experience. Either way, guys, sharing is the topic of your um, of this lunar of this lunar cycle. So, aim to share your life, share your um, <clears throat> achievements, share your happiness, or share your pain. Because with this card, I like to say that shared happiness is double the happiness. Shared pain is half the pain. But looking more closely into your career, this card could be a, a sign for a, a very, very important new beginning that is happening into your career as a, a new project, reassignment, guys, promotion, etc., etc. If nonetheless this guy is, this card is showing up that you will reach a, a kind of like extraordinary harmony into your career, uh, <clears throat> into your career environment, peaceful environment. Um, you are going to share that uh, trust with your colleagues as well as you will have support from your colleagues which are working with you and in general guys it's going to be a very peaceful time into your uh, into your career now talking about relationship of course this card speaks for love romance and uh, uh, shared emotions shared dream so for those which are in relationship you are about to fall even more in love with one another guys and those which are not in relationship this card is a sign for that someone is appearing on the horizon so be on a watch out for this one and not only that but this one is going to truly share your emotions so if you miss him it's entirely scorpio unfortunately your um your mistake so the next card for you guys or for us should i say uh is gonna show the difficulties we have to struggle against and that will be the ten of wands and this card shows that many things are gonna move around us so we will have to attend into a lot of stuff and we will feel overburdened especially career-wise this card expresses the drive for power <clears throat> so while you have that harmony into your career environment guys you will want to step uh, to, to show yourself one step in front of everybody else that you are more capable than everybody else especially knowing that this important new beginning is coming up which is probably as i said reassignment new project and a promotion and of course you will want to have it for yourself and you don't want anybody else to steal it from you but you need to be mindful about that kind of behavior guys because again you may overburden yourself and you may kind of like make promises which is very very difficult to keep and they will simply going to bereft you from fast um, improvement moving on forward talking about relationship this card it is saying that you will the difficulty here is guys being more carefree it is because this card is a sign of uh, maturing in a bad way into one relationship where everything is constrained by rules where everything is is uh written by the book etc etc and there is no way to move on uh, to move freely around and to to make surprises into the relationship itself and this quickly go, uh, can traverse the relationship into something which is quite install and it's something that which doesn't have any excitement anymore so that being said be mindful about that guys and give a little bit of a room for freedom into the relationship now talking if you are single with this card maybe your expectations or your criteria as quite high for the person which is approaching you you need to be mindful that uh, there are no perfect people and sometimes you have to be open for a compromise 
the next card is showing up your intentions or what intentions excuse me you should have moving on forward yay the four of wands guys it's going to be a very good month for us scorpios so <clears throat> four of wands it is showing that a, a important cycle is coming to an answer to an end so definitely is going to be a, a very important new beginning as i said guys so that being said you need to first off aim aim to finalize a, a job that take a lot of effort in the past that's first thing guys but second thing is that you need to be more joyful and more carefree about what is coming up next and focus only on one thing at the time talking about your career do not spread yourself among many things do not because instead of attending and instead of showing how solid you are with maintaining everything around you you are going to simply show that you are scampering around and doing much much less that you are actually capable of talking about your relationship with this card you need to accept either the person which is coming towards you or your partner as a mirror of yourself and as you as as a mirror of yourself it means as your shadow and that you cannot live without them you know that you still have what to achieve together and that this person can only add into your life instead of take off uh, take from it that being said guys if you are finding yourself into a, a rather misfortunate place into your into your relationship try to make it peace in there try to show how much you love them because this is gonna pay off a, a big time and as i said if you are single then um try to show that you are, uh, are willing to make a compromise for the sake of that this person can contribute into your life in a positive positive way the next card it is showing up the lesson we all are about to learn during this uh, lunar cycle and that will be the uh, knights of pentacles and it's all about defining for ourselves what we truly truly want and how much we are willing to give in uh, to give away in order to receive okay so into your career guys this card shows a, a meticulous or you need to be metic you need to uh perform meticulously toward one thing and toward one thing only which is the thing you truly want you don't have to attend into anything that you don't want for the sake of showing that you can actually do everything into your career and show that you are more than anybody else which is working around you now talking about your relationship this card it is showing up guys that you need to constantly this is the lesson you need to feed up the emotions you have in between you and your partner you know just just uh taking them for granted isn't going to serve you and it isn't going to serve you or it's going to serve us any favor because these emotions from warm they quickly are going to um become colder and colder so that being said saying time to time that you love that person is not going to do any harm but just on contrary is going to quench your relationship and the last card here it is showing up the energies which are going to support us through this period of time we have the empress and the empress is about maturity guys these energies are going to make us much more mature about the things which are coming on our way uh, and in the same time they are going to um how can i really express it mm. they will uh, make us very calm regarding decision making as well and it will it, we will be able to detach very quickly from a certain situation so we can soberly decide with acute discernment what exactly we need to do moving on forward talking about your uh, career with this card these energies will allow you to truly express yourself creatively toward that new important thing coming into your life as well as making a, a huge pl plans for how you should perceive moving on forward talking about your relationship guys this card will protect your relationship by uh from shaking down the foundation of it so for you it's about realizing actually how much you love your partner through shaking up the foundation of the relationship which in the same time is going to be protected so you can find a, a new meaning of love and if you are single guys 
this card it is showing up that you will be uh, that these energies are gonna make you compassionate and these energies are gonna make you truly see the nature of the person which is approaching you and i think that there is a, a major major chance and especially as the jupiter is in scorpio guys there is a, a huge chance for you lonely souls to find someone who truly can be your partner for a long term i mean romantic partner for a long term duration now that was the tarot scope guys for scorpio for the lunar eclipse into leo and i hope you enjoyed it and you liked it and it, i hope it is at least remotely helpful to your situation and if it is please like and share the video so it can help to more people and as well don't forget to subscribe for the channel for daily uh, for daily content here um that being said guys stay positive stay informed rat signing out now see you next time bye